welcome, Monsieur and Madame, to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert, and like, thank you, thank you. Yes. It's good to be here. Like, like everyone watching, I'm sure. I was shocked and horrified to watch the fire yesterday at the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. It was it was it was hard to watch such a beautiful piece of civilization go up in flames. But but the, the nice thing is the news isn't all bad. Today we've learned there were no deaths. And while the roof was lost and the spire collapsed, the church itself survived, including the magnificent rose window, which I'm so which we actually have reproduced here tonight in the dome of the theater. In honor, in honor of our friends in Paris and around the world. Just heart-stricken by this. Now, French President Emmanuel Macron has <laughs> vowed to rebuild Notre Dame at a cost of over $1 billion, and already French tycoons and businesses have pledged $700 million to rebuild. That... Yes, that is great. That's lovely. That is absolutely lovely. That's great that these businessmen and corporations are stepping up. I just pray that they don't sell the naming rights, because it just would not be the same. It would not be the same to visit the Tostitos Notre Dame Cathedral <laughs> at Monster Energy Drink, Ile de la Cité. Now, please don't. Please don't. Now... This fire had captured the hearts of everyone around the world. Notre Dame was the number one trending story on Twitter, just ahead of the other trending topic, Notre Dame. <laughs> trending with Notre Dame Cathedral. Yes, heroic firefighters saved Notre Dame, but sadly, no one could save Notre Dame Cathedral. <laughs> I'm sure they're very upset at the Vatican. <laughs> Especially... Poor Frankis. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, yesterday, in the midst of all this, when the fire was just raging at its hottest, Donald Trump offered his, uh, help? <laughs> Tweeting, So horrible to watch the massive fire at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Perhaps flying water tankers could be used to put it out. Must act quickly. <laughs> what does... Does he think every time there's an emergency in France, they're like, Claude, the cathedral is on fire! We must check Donald Trump's Twitter feed! What is going on? No! Oh! No! Oh! Quelle horreur, sacre bleu! He says we must act quickly! Get the hoses, get the water! Why didn't we not think of water? We've been using... <laughs> We've been using cheese. <laughs> Delicious cheese. Now, the French... <laughs> the fromage! The French did respond to Trump's idea. Their civil uh, security agency tweeted, hundreds of firemen of the Paris Fire Brigade are doing everything they can to bring the terrible uh, Notre Dame fire under control. All means are being used except for water-bombing aircrafts, <laughs> which, if used, could lead to the collapse of the entire structure of the cathedral. Wow. 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 For firefighters, they really know how to give a sick burn. <laughs> But French firefighters weren't the only ones getting pointers from Trump. Earlier in the day, he offered advice to Boeing, tweeting, What do I know about branding? Maybe nothing, but I've got a president. But <laughs> if I were Boeing, I would fix the Boeing 737 MAX. Sacre bleu, now the president knows how to fix the planes! <laughs> he is a genius. He is a genius like the Jerry Lewis. Trump continued, add some additional great features and rebrand the plane with a new name. No product has suffered like this one. But again, what the hell do I know? <laughs> um... <laughs> Not much. Uh... <laughs> Which is maybe why you shouldn't be tweeting about how to put out fires and fix planes. First, you should learn how to drink a glass of water, <laughs> close an umbrella, and pass a flag without copping a feel. Now, 
Trump also. <laughs> bang, bang, right there. That is. Trump also tweeted at legendary golfer and man whose forehead will be soon be playing the back nine, <laughs> Tiger Woods. Woods shocked the world, winning at 43 years old, making him the second oldest winner of the Masters. Even more impressive, the second youngest person to watch the Masters. <laughs> Trump tweeted, spoke to at Tiger Woods to congratulate him on the great victory he had in yesterday's The Masters and to inform him that because of his incredible success and comeback in sports, golf, and more importantly, <laughs> life, I will be presenting him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. No, Tagger, no man has played golf at such a high level while famously tagging anything that moves. <laughs> Therefore, I'm awarding you the highest honor, the Presidential Medal of Sex Golf. <laughs> there you go. You look good. You look good. I was excited, though. I'm a big fan. Uh -huh. yeah. Big, uh, big, big, big Tiger Woods fan. I was so excited because I am in my v very late 40s, and I would like to. Yeah. I like a comeback like that. I like a comeback like late. that. Nope. Mm -hmm. Trump better enjoy the good times while they last because the Mueller report will be released to the public on Thursday morning. Morning. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I, for one, can't wait. This is my Game of Thrones in that I'm pretty sure there's some boobs in it. The report, uh, the report was originally supposed to be released uh, Tuesday, uh, today, but the Justice Department delayed it with no explanation. I have a feeling they're hoping to bury it over that holiday weekend. Because if there's one thing Easter is famous for, it's things staying buried. <laughs> and they put it in a tomb, they rolled a stone over it, they're like, it's never coming out. That report's never coming out.